Welcome and thank you for always joining us in our discussions. We are looking at a flowchart on survey process. And the question reads, study the flowchart below and answer the questions that follow. We have Brian getting into chamber D, then straight to the Solvay Tower, where gas F is coming in. Allow me to start the flowchart from where we have limestone, which is calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is usually heated in the kiln where it decomposes into calcium oxide and carbon 4 oxide gas. So gas F becomes carbon 4 oxide. Then we have calcium oxide coming down where it combines with water in the slaker to form calcium hydroxide. We are coming back into that. Carbon 4 oxide gets into the solvay tower where we have brine getting in and I want to assume there is ammonia already inside, such that we have a mixture of ammonia. We have a mixture of ammonia and brine, which is sodium chloride, plus, of course, the carbon four oxide that is getting into the solvay tower and water, which is usually in the system. This gives us two products, namely ammonium chloride. This gives us ammonium chloride, which is in solution form, and of course, sodium hydrogen carbonate, which is in solid form. One being in solution and another one being in solid form, the two are separated by filtration where we have liquid H as ammonium chloride and solid P as sodium hydrogen carbonate. Sodium hydrogen carbonate gets into chamber S, known as the roster, where it is heated to produce sodium carbonate. We can do an equation for what happens in the chamber S. We have sodium hydrogen carbonate being decomposed. This is a carbonate and therefore we are targeting sodium carbonate. We of course have carbon four oxide and water. We go back once we have our sodium carbonate as the main product from solvay process. We go back and pick it from where we have calcium oxide from the decomposition of calcium carbonate. The calcium oxide, a solid, combines with water in the slaker to give calcium hydroxide. When calcium hydroxide is coming out from the slaker, then it's going to combine with ammonium chloride that is coming down. Let us see what happens. Let us see what happens. We are going to have ammonium chloride aqueous combining with calcium hydroxide from the slaker. And this one is going to give us ammonia. I want to be more specific on this. This is where ammonia is generated. So we have ammonia gas being regenerated here, plus calcium chloride, which is one of the products that is not recycled in this process, and of course, plus water. Having done that, I think we are almost through with the analysis of this. But we have finished analyzing this. So the questions are, identify gas F. We have already identified this as carbon for oxide. Liquid H has already been identified as ammonium chloride.
we have solid P. Solid P is sodium hydrogen carbonate. It is also important that we give the formula of these compounds. Ammonium chloride is NH4Cl, then of course carbon dioxide is CO2. Next. Uh, we proceed. State one use of calcium chloride. This is one of the byproducts that is not recycled in solvay process, and it has a wide range of uses. One of the uses is that uh, it is used as a drying agent. Used as a drying agent. It can also be used on roads to defrost ice. Uh, but G, give two reasons why such a plant should be sited near a river. Remember, a lot of water is required to cool the carbonator. A lot of water is needed to cool the carbonator. We proceed with uh, the remaining part of the questions. We proceed with the remaining part of the questions. This is uh, not D, but H. Write equations for the reactions occurring in chamber N. Let us look at chamber N. Chamber N is where we have uh, Ammonia regeneration. The reaction involves no, no, no. Chamber N is where we have calcium oxide combining with water. That is the slaker. So we are going to have calcium oxide solid being dissolved in water, which is the liquid, to produce calcium hydroxide. which is aqueous. We can balance the equation. We move down to S, chamber S. Chamber S is where we have uh, uh, the roster. That is where the composition of sodium hydrogen carbonate takes place. When sodium hydrogen carbonate is heated, it gives us sodium carbonate, a solid. It gives us carbon for oxide gas and of course water, which is a liquid. To balance the equation, we can simply write two behind sodium hydrogen carbonate and the equation is automatically balanced. We go to E. Using an ionic equation, explain how sodium carbonate is used to soften hard water. Remember, one of the uses of sodium carbonate, it is to soften hard water. But how do we use that? We have those ions that cause water hardness. And those ions that cause water hardness are either magnesium ions or calcium ions. So I want to assume that uh, we have magnesium ions in water that is aqueous. This is water that contains magnesium ions. We are using sodium carbonate to precipitate out those ions. So we are going to have magnesium carbonate being precipitated out 
and of course sodium ions will get into solution so we will be having water that contains sodium ions remember sodium ions do not cause water hardness and therefore by so doing we would have actually removed water hardness using sodium carbonate we can also do the same with calcium explain how ammonical brine is formed ammonical brine is formed when you dissolve or by dissolving by dissolving ammonia in brine that is where the term ammonical brine comes from state one use of sodium hydrogen carbonate sodium hydrogen carbonate has several uses one being that of making that of making healthy drinks then of course we have used as baking powder used as baking powder in food industry so there are so many other uses that is both of sodium carbonate sodium silicate and so forth and so on thank you for watching and welcome to our discussions and in case you are watching this channel for the first time please take a second or two you click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this you'll automatically be given a notification